Hi, this is Richie, and this is Five Guys Gaming. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people are underwhelmed with the Xbox One and the PS4, so now they're looking towards PC gaming. Now PC gaming, a lot of people think they have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars to get a decent PC gaming build, which isn't true at all. You can build one yourself and make it cheap. It doesn't have to be an amazing system. Or you can wait it out like me and look at sales and things like that and really build a great gaming PC. This PC that I've just made right now is running Tomb Raider at 60 FPS. You can't really tell in this video because it's really sad because Fraps stinks. But it's a great PC system and you know I didn't spend a fortune on it. And here are some of the parts I use so maybe you guys can see that PC gaming really isn't that expensive when it all comes down to it. So the graphics card I got was an Asus 7870 with 2GB of onboard memory. I got it for $210 even though the price is $230 thanks to a $20 rebate. And now you may think, huh, that's still quite a bit of money for what I'm getting. But you also get Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon, Crisis 3, Bioshock Infinite, and Tomb Raider, which are all AAA titles that are all $60 regularly except for Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon because that's a DLC. But you save a bunch of money getting all these games and the video guard get put together. So look out for those kinds of deals. So now get a PCI Express 3 compatible motherboard because the video card is PCI Express 3. So it won't work with a PCI Express 2 motherboard. So you got to watch out for that as well. Which is a perfect segue into my motherboard which is an MSI H77MA G43 with an 1155 socket. You gotta be careful with the sockets because only pro certain processors are compatible with certain sockets. So in my case, I got an Intel Core i5-3470, which is an 1155 socket. So if I had an 1150 socket motherboard, it wouldn't work with my Intel Core i5. So you gotta watch out for that. But anyway, it has the PCI Express 3, so it's compatible with my video card, and it has everything I need. So it was $65 after a $15 rebate from the original price of $80. So look out for rebates again, because it could save you money. So now looking at the RAM, we have 8 gigabytes of RAM, a Patriot Viper RAM, which makes it special because it's made in the USA, and it can clock to 1600 megahertz, which is fast. And now, right now, it's $75. But I got it for 33 right when it came out, so I don't know if they'll have a deal like that again once more RAM, the new RAM comes out. But you know, look out for that because 33 dollars for eight gigabytes of RAM is a steal, especially if it clocks to 1600 megahertz. So now the processor, as I said before, I got a Core i5 3470 that runs at 3.2 gigahertz for 200 dollars. Now 200 dollars is a little much for this processor. I ended up buying it at Fry's, but you can get some insane deals on Newegg for these, so look out on Newegg. And then the power supply is a Raid Max RX 630Z Smart Modular ATX power supply. So in short, I went a little overkill because my whole build as a whole, you know, only ends up being around 400 watts. So I got 230 extra watts for no reason, but you know, it's fun to have a power supply that glows. So it ended up costing me 50 bucks it was 90 but a $40 rebate which is huge huge for a rebate so keep an eye out for that so the case a case is a case in my opinion you don't have to spend a bunch of money to get one that glows and has 50,000 different fans and it ends up costing you 700 bucks for one a case is a case it protects your PC no matter if it's a $30 case or a $400 case. So I got a pretty decent case. It's an Enermac Osterog. It's $37 and in my opinion looks cool because it has the little red trim and a plexiglass side so you can see what's going on which is all you need to do if you want a cool case. So the hard drive is a one terabyte Hitachi hard drive which you know I got for cheap at $70 and you know I took a little time. I waited for it and I ended up getting a good deal on it so keep waiting because you can get something for cheap and to top it all off I got Windows 8 for $90 on Amazon if you get the system builder version so that is still quite a bit of money for a PC but not for gaming PC most gaming PCs are thousands of dollars and I only ended up spending $754 and I ended up saving around $118 because I waited for my parts so in the long run, 
PC gaming is also cheaper as well because, you know, Steam has sales every day and, you know, you can get games for pretty cheap, especially during their, you know, seasonal sales. So, you know, gaming PC has its pros and cons. The initial investment is expensive. But if you look at this benchmark that I'm showing right now, you can see that you can buy a beautiful graphic system that just looks fantastic over everything else that you've seen before like Xbox 360 and PS3 looks nothing com as good as compared to Tomb Raider on the PC like if you look at the PS3 version of Tomb Raider you're just not gonna see it as good as you can on a PC so just keep that in mind that you're gonna get an awesome system that looks smoother and the best looking thing you've ever seen before for a little bit more money in the investment but in the end it's all worth it so really look into PC gaming when you're deciding to do a next-gen system so please like the video subscribe to it I hope it helped let me know if it did in the comments below so just think about PC gaming and if it's for you so I'll talk to you guys later in the next video sometime soon so I'll see you around have a good day bye